Problem 341. A rectangle ABCD which measures 18 centimeters by 24 centimeters is folded once, perpendicular to diagonal AC, so that the opposite vertices A and C coincide. Find the length of the fold. We have here rectangle A, B, C, D. And the sides are 18 centimeters by 24 centimeters. It is folded once perpendicular to diagonal AC. Diagonal is from A to C. And yung fold natin is perpendicular to this diagonal. Let's say dito yung gitna. And yung fold natin is ito. This is 90 degrees. And 90 degrees. So yung vertices A and C natin is magnimit. So, yung required is yung fold, which is x. And para makuha natin yung value ng x, kailangan muna natin makuha yung length ng ating diagonal. So, using yung triangle na to, magkukuha na natin yung length ng diagonal. Using Pythagorean theorem, which is d is equal to square root of 18 square plus 24 squared. Square root of 18 squared plus 24 squared. The length of our diagonal is equal to 30. And makukuha na rin natin yung angle dito. Which is kailangan natin para masolve yung value ng fold. So using tangent, theta is equal to opposite over adjacent side. Theta is equal to arc tangent opposite side which is 18 over adjacent side which is 24. Arc tangent 18 over 24. Theta is equal to 36.87 degrees. Using triangle naman na to, magkukuha natin yung value na half of x. And yung side natin na to is d over 2 or 30 over 2 is equal to 15. Tangent theta or tangent 36.87 degrees is equal to opposite side which is x over 2 over adjacent side which is d over 2 or 15. x is equal to 15 tangent 36.87 degrees times 2 x is equal to 15 tangent 36.87 times 2. x is equal to 22.5 centimeters. So, this is the length of the fold. So, choices, letter C ang tamang sagot. Number 342. A trapezoid has an area of 36 square meters and an altitude of 2 meters. Its two bases have a ratio of 4, 5. What are the lengths of the bases? So given tayo dito ng area which is 36 square meters. And an altitude of 2 meters. And its two bases have a ratio of 4, 5. So, base 1 natin is equal to 4x and yung base 2 which is equal to 5x. So, kailangan natin isolve dito yung value ng x para malaman yung length of the bases. Ang formula ng area ng trapezoid is equal to 1 half times base 1 plus base 2 times the altitude. 
substitute natin yung given na values. Area which is 36 square meters is equal to 1 half base 1 na 4x plus base 2 na 5x times 2 meters na altitude. Cancel natin yung 2. And sa unit natin, cancel din natin yung meter and meter. So, ang may iwan is 36 meters is equal to 4x plus 5x. 9x is equal to 36 meters. Dividing both sides by 9, ang value na x is equal to 4 meters. Substitute natin yung value ng x para makuha yung value ng base 1 and base 2. So, base 1 is equal to 4x or 4 times 4 meters which is equal to 16 meters. And base 2 is equal to 5 times 4 meters which is equal to 20 meters meters. So, ito yung values ng ating bases. Sa choices, letter D ang tamang sagot. Number 343. A rhombus has diagonals of 32 and 20 inches. Determine its area. So, given tayo ng diagonal 1, diagonal 1 na 32 inches. And diagonal 2, na 20 inches. And yung required dito is its area. Gamit yung diagonals, makukuha natin yung area ng rhombus. Area is equal to 1 half times the length of diagonal 1 times the length of diagonal 2. Substitute lang natin yung given na values. So, A is equal to 1 half times 32 inches times 20 inches. Area is equal to 1 half of 32 times 20 is 640 square inches. Area is equal to 320 square inches. Sa choices, letter C ang tamang sagot. For 344, if the sides of a parallelogram and included angle are 6, 10, and 100 degrees respectively, finding length of the shorter diagonal. So we are given the sides which are 6 and 10. And unincluded angle is 100 degrees. So, kailangan natin makuha yung value ng diagonal na to. So, para makuha yung length of the shorter diagonal, kailangan natin makuha yung angle natin dito. Same lang sila ng angle dito. Para makuha natin yung value ng theta, kailangan natin i-minus to at ito sa 360. So, the sum of interior angles of quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. Is equal to 2 times 100 degrees plus 2 theta. 360 degrees is equal to 200 degrees plus 2 theta. 2 theta is equal to 360 degrees minus 200. 2 theta is equal to 160 degrees. Dividing both sides by 2, we will get the value of theta which is 80 degrees. So, alam na natin yung value ng ating theta. Dito sa illustration nating triangle, let's say A, yung ating unknown, which is the length of the shorter diagonal, and B is 6 and C is equal to 
natin. And yung value ng ating angle is equal to 80 degrees. So, given tayo ng two sides of a triangle and one included angle, which is the angle between these two lines, makukuha na natin yung value ng shorter diagonal using the low cosines. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine theta. Substitute natin yung values. So, A is equal to square root of 60 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 6 times 10 cosine 80 degrees. A is equal to square root of 6 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 6 times 10 cosine 80. 10.73 A is equal to 10.73 Ito na yung length ng ating shorter diagonal So, sa choices, letter C ang tamang sagot Problem 345 Find the area of a quadrilateral having sides A, B, 10 cm B, C, 5 cm C, D, 14.14 cm and D, A, 15 cm if the sum of the opposite angles is 225 degrees. So we have here a quadrilateral having sides AB, which is 10 cm, BC, which is 5 cm, CD, which is 14.14 cm, and DA, which is 15 cm. And we are also given the sum of the opposite angles which is equal to 225. So, yung angle A and C is equal to 225 degrees. And the area of a quadrilateral is equal to square root of S minus A times S minus B times S minus C times S minus D minus a, B, C, D, cosine squared theta. So, para masolve natin yung area, kailangan natin hanapin itong semi-perimeter and yung ating angle. For the semi-perimeter, we have the formula semi-perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C plus D all over 2. So, S is equal to 10 plus 5 plus 14.14 plus 15 all over 2, which is equal to 10 plus 5 plus 14.14 plus 15 all over 2. Semi-perimeter is equal to 22.07 cm. And yung angle natin is equal to the average of opposite angles which is 225 degrees all over 2 which is equal to 112.5 degrees. Substituting the values, we can now get the area of the quadrilateral. Area is equal to square root of 22.07 minus 10 times 22.07 minus 5 times 22.07 minus 14.14 times 22.07 minus 15 minus 10 times 5 times 14.14 times 15 cosine squared theta which is 112.5 degrees square root of 22.07 minus 10 times 
22.07 minus 5 times 22.07 minus 14.14 times 22.07 minus 15 minus 10 times 5 times 14.14 times 15 cosine 112.5 square so area is equal to 99.99 .99 square centimeters or approximately 100 square centimeters so, don't sa choices, letter B ang tamang sagot.